Good morning. This is Sandra from Source Outreach Ministries. Today we have Minister Love the Best from Love Ministries. And we have another lesson for you today. The mm -hmm. Word Settled in Heaven Ooh. on the Bible Talk Show today on oh. the YouTube. Oh, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm sorry. I'm just getting so excited. <laughs> Say that title again. What oh. are we talking about? The Word Settled in Heaven. Did y'all hear that? The Word, the word Settled in Heaven. That's going to be a great one today, Sandy, I because know. if the word is already settled in heaven, that means that what's ever done in heaven is going to be done on earth. So no matter what man try to do, no matter how he tries to manipulate things, it's already been settled in heaven. Wow. This is what gives us joy to know that God's word stands over man. Right. Now, we've been talking about the, uh, uh, the God's word, his old word in a new world order. If if you notice, if you're keeping up with the times that we're living in, Sister Sandy and I, we're very uh, fervent in what we do. We love to study and research and to bring to you the times that we're actually living in. This is, we're uh, calling you guys to wake up to the word of God. It's already been settled. So let's go into the scripture, Sandy, and let's see what this word is that's been settled already in wow. heaven. Let's take a look at Psalms 119 mm -hmm. and read for us verse 89. Matter of fact, through 91, Sandy. Okay. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all the generations. Mm -hmm. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. Mm -hmm. They continue this day according to thine ordinance, for all are thy servants. Oh, boy. Whoa. Now, this, this is a good psalms, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is good. Yeah. And, and, and so, I notice, notice it said the Lord's word. Right. His word. Not man's word. Right. Because man's word, it can't even, God's word is settled in heaven. You can't even get man's word to settle on, on a on piece earth. of dirt. Right. You know, because the moment he said it could be fly and gone. Right. You know, ain't right. no truth to it. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So, God's word, the Lord's word is settled in heaven. So we shouldn't get so bent out of shape when we hear so many opinions. Right. You know, a man got an opinion for this, he got an opinion for that, and ain't nothing settled, ain't nothing concrete when it mm -hmm. comes to what man has to think. Right. Yes. On their, their own agenda. They right. have, like they say, something up their sleeve. They <laughs> might say one thing, but... They're gonna do another thing. That's right. Right. That's right. You can't trust them. That's it. And and we're and, and we're we're not up in the high places where they are physically, but we are in spiritual high places. Right. Where we have the intuition God has given us to give that we can have insight to really see what's behind the things that man is saying today. Right. All right. So we can't overemphasize today. It is God's word. It's already been settled. I, I don't care how many laws you try to make, it ain't gonna change God's mind. Right. It's already settled. Right. Let's take a, a, a quick look, Sister Sandy. We're gonna go to the New Testament and let's see how this plays out. We got about a minute here. Second Corinthians chapter 7 and we're going to take a look at verse 10. Look what happens here. Verse 10 says for godly sorrow works repentance to salvation not to be repented of but the sorrow of the world works what? Death. Woo -hoo. Death. How many sorrows do we see in the text? How many sorrows? The first one was what kind of sorrow? Oh, Verse godly. Uh-huh. And what does that do for us? When we have a godly sorrow, what happens to us, Sandy? We have joy. We have love. We feel good. Yeah. Yeah, we have peace. Yeah, it causes us to repent, to don't repent it? To repent, too. Mm -hmm. right, right. Anything that we do daily that... That is not pleasing to right. God because we still have the nature of the flesh. Right. But what happens when we are in the world, when we're not uh, of God and we're in the world and we believe in everything that man says to do? What happens to us? You what happens? You have sorrow. Uh-huh. And, 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 and the world worketh death. Uh, There's uh, only death uh, right. that's coming to you right. if you're in the world. That's it. Death. Mm -hmm. And this death could be in the form of anxiety, mm -hmm. frustration, mm -hmm. anger, bitterness, mm -hmm. a jealousy. Those things, it may not cause you a physical death, but you die internally. Right. You're always Hatred. anxiety. You're always stressed mm -hmm. out. You're always feeling lonely. You, yeah. You know, you, you, you've got to 
about, be out of our people, uh -huh. around people. But when you're with the Lord, you could be by yourself because the Lord's inside of That's you. That's right. You're not really ever by yourself. That's right. The God is in within, and and everything is. Uh, Happy, That's joyous. It. Absolutely. So when we so we gotta be careful. The lesson today is that we want to learn is, is that when you are so into the world, it's gonna bring you sorrow that you is it's irreparable. Right. You're gonna die on the on the inside. So we want God's word that's already been settled in heaven. He said that uh, uh, your health comes by my stripes have healed you. Right. Uh, don't worry. I got you. These are God's word. His promises. Right. So Sister Sandy, we're going to end right there on the Bible Talk show today. Talking about God's word right there in uh, settled in heaven. Right. So I'm Minister Love with Black Who. And Sandra with Source Out uh, Outreach Ministries. Have a great day. <laughs> all right. God bless you all.